Well, I was talking earlier about the artwork I do when I'm on the trips. And there's also the artwork I do when I come back from the trips. And I have memories. And uh, I really admire the artist named Morris Graves, who always worked with the natural world, but not anatomically accurate, more spirit accurate. And uh, particularly his trout with a big circle around it is a beautiful painting. And this behind me is a wolf. It's like the wolves I see in the Arctic. It's a white wolf. And I've made this large print of it. He's looking over his shoulder because I can't draw feet. So I had him sitting on his haunches and looking over his shoulder at us. And it's a monotype and it's very successful. But when I pulled the print, I had no idea what image I'd get because the former pulls had taken off all the ink I could see. So I had a piece of rice paper which I put down on top of the plate and pulled it and pulled off the rice paper and that's what I got. It's called Wolf Dream. And in the background on the right you can see the little outline of a caribou. And to me that's what a wolf would dream about. And I'd like to offer uh, copies of this to anybody through the Blue Canoe who sees this and would like a copy. They're usually running at 800 bucks and I would be happy to sell it to anyone out on the Blue Canoe Post for 200. So let me know if uh, you'd be interested to know more about that. Wolves are one of the great elements of traveling in the Arctic. There is still a place on this planet where wolves outnumber people, and the Arctic is one of them. And they are, in the part of the Arctic I go to, mostly white. And to see in the middle of the summer a white wolf moving across a green landscape is just to see a piece of magic unfolding in front of your eyes. So I'm always eager to see them, and in summer they're not a threat to me. They're raising their family. They have a lot of food around. They're not at all, you know, uh, anxious to attack me. But I had a friend, Dale Ross, and he worked for Water Survey, and he was out in the middle of January on a river in the north and doing a core sample, and he got surrounded by nine wolves who were really hungry and really looking at him, and he felt very lucky to get out of there in time, not be attacked. So, in everything beautiful, there's always a little pinprick of uh, danger. I love that.